Hello everyone, it's Umar bin Hussain and you are watching Mandarin Point. Today we are going to discuss the question how to remember Chinese characters. Which action strategy should be followed so that we can remember this Chinese character for a longer period of time and at the same time we are able to differentiate this character from other Chinese characters. We will start our discussion with the review of the Chinese strokes that we have studied in our previous lessons. We have studied horizontal stroke, vertical stroke, left falling stroke, right falling stroke, dot and rising stroke. It is Hang Shu Pie Na Tian Ti. We also have studied that if there is a hook along with these basic strokes, then that hook is known as Gua. And if there is a sharp turn, we call it Chu. And if there is a bend or curve, we call it Wan. Let's start our discussion. Over here we have Qi meaning seven. If you look at this character, you will see that this character is directly composed of those basic strokes. There is no any other character associated with it. For example, it is horizontal stroke, it is vertical stroke, bend and a hook. Hang, Shu, Wan, Guo. For an easy understanding, we are calling such characters as level 1 characters. So level 1 characters are those characters which are directly derived from those basic strokes. There is no any other stroke associated with it. Okay, let's move towards the next level 1 character. It is Pa meaning it. It is directly composed of those basic strokes. And we can see that this is Pie and this is Na. We can see this Pa in many examples. Over here you can see this is Pa. Pa, pa. Let's move towards next level one character. It is shu, meaning ten. It is very simple character, just two strokes, horizontal and vertical. Over here, you can see it is shu, shu, shu. The next level one character is r meaning child. It is again level 1 character meaning it is deprived directly from basic strokes. We can see it is a left falling stroke pie, and this one is vertical stroke bend and a hook. So shu one go. Let's see it associated with other characters. Here you can see this is r r r the next one is Kao, meaning mouth or door. This character again is level 1 character, means it is directly derived from basic strokes. Vertical stroke, horizontal stroke with a right turn, Shu, Hang Chu, and Hang. Let's find it over here. The upper stroke is Kao. It is Chong, when we say Chung Gua, meaning China, Chong is this one. So you can see that it is Kao and it is horizontal line. This lower character is Kwa. Let's look at level 2 characters. Level 2 characters are those characters which are composed of two single characters or two level 1 characters. In other words, level 2 characters are not derived directly from basic strokes. Rather, they are composed of two single characters. Similarly, they will not be decomposed to basic strokes they will decompose to two single characters for example it is s meaning four just look at it and you will find that it is composed of two characters outer one and inner one outer one is ka and inner one is r both of these we just have studied so key point is whenever you see a chinese character just decompose it and continue decomposing until level one characters are appeared for example, this su is decomposed until those characters appeared which are directly derived from basic strokes. This ka can easily be derived from these basic strokes and we have studied it. And the same is over here. We can see this su over here, the right one, the right one, the right one. All these are su meaning four combined with other characters. Liu, six. So this one you can also see, oh this one is that we have studied 
and this one is an other character doesn't matter if you know or not but your common sense should tell you that this is an other character and this one is another character so let's decompose it this one and this one now this cannot be decomposed further because these are directly derived from basic strokes this one is thin and this one is horizontal stroke this one is left falling right falling and let's find it in example this layer is over here this layer is at the upper side this layer at the upper side of the character Chien, meaning thousand just look at it and ignore this upper character it is shu meaning 10 we just have studied so let's decompose it to those characters which are directly derived from basic strokes it is pie left falling and this one is shu meaning 10 and both of these can be derived from these basic strokes as we have studied earlier let's find this chien over here this one is chien this one is chien let's move towards another one gong meaning public just look at this character you will find that oh it is pa and this one is another character we don't know at the moment doesn't matter you know or not but you should identify that it is an other character so let's decompose this one is pa and this one is an other character both of these characters cannot be split further because these are directly derived from basic strokes for example this is pier na pier chu tian now we are studying the level 3 characters level 3 characters means that the character will be composed of three basic or level 1 characters it is ni you so let's decompose it one two and this one is three so this ni is composed of three basic or level one characters which are directly derived from basic strokes for example this one pie shu pie hang gua shu gua pie tian its example is ni hao meaning hello now level four characters let's see very simple one character two character three character four character <laughs> it is none to be able and we can decompose it into four basic characters one two three four all of these four basic characters can be derived directly from basic strokes hang chu tian pie hang chu gua hang hang shu wan guo pie shu wan guo pie here we have another one mao meaning cat we can see that this one is first character second character and this one is third character okay let's decompose it further oh this one is over here it cannot be decomposed further this one is over here it cannot be decomposed further it is third one but it can be composed further and we can see it is composed into shu and ko now these four basic characters one two three four these four basic characters can be derived directly from basic strokes for example this one is left falling left falling and this one is wang gua and this one is horizontal stroke vertical vertical horizontal vertical so mao is composed of these four basic characters got it let's move towards next one it is gao meaning tall or high let's decompose it one two three but it is still decomposable so let's decompose it further this one and this one so these are the four characters of which this gao is composed of and we can drive these characters from basic strokes this is the end horizontal stroke and this one is shu hang chu guo the next one ru meaning hot let's decompose the lower one the upper one the upper one is still to be decomposed the left one 
the right one it can still be decomposed this one and this one so this row is composed of this character this character this character and this character and all of these four basic characters are those characters which can derive directly from basic strokes let's drive it horizontal stroke hung rising stroke vertical stroke with a hook left falling stroke hung two one go and tien now i'm leaving an exercise for you people you have to decompose following characters into their basic characters or level one characters just continue decomposing these characters until you find the basic strokes this one is to shao to shao qian whenever we see to buy something we are going to ask how much money so it is that to shao it is han meaning very and mang busy wa i tha he that's all about our today's lesson please decompose these characters by yourself otherwise it will be little difficult for you to continue in next lecture in our next lecture we are going to start the basic conversation and their characters you will be able to recognize read and write each and every character of basic conversation so don't miss the next class and if you like this video please press the like button and subscribe my channel thank you so much see you in next class